The player one, Poseidon, C, color, pro. So APS-C size center. Um, this is going to be probably the last little bit for my DSO um, puzzle that we're looking at. And it will be included with the Nexus. So we've already seen some of the stuff we can do with the Nexus camera corrector. Um, just using my planetary cameras, the, uh, the very, very nice QHY 585C is the biggest chip I've got. And I'll put something up on the screen and just show you um, what it's uh, good for. But as far as area of chip goes, this little bad boy is five to, I believe, maybe six times the area of um, what you can see there with the 585C. So um, it'll be a very, very nice um, way of going about doing my DSO work. Um, I was also looking at the QHY, the 268C, and they're both very, very good cameras. Um, ZWA make great stuff too, but I've never ever owned um, any ZWA cameras. The I've had three QHY cameras now and loved them all, all very good. And this is actually my third Player One camera. They all use the 571 chip. It's superb. Um, cooled because I'm doing, um, we're going to be doing more lucky imaging type. I'll be shooting them as quick as I can with the, um, the 24 when it's uh, 2.55, F2.55 with this. So I'm just going to um, find a sweet spot crank up the gain and um, shoot as quick as I can. So we're, we're not looking for a lot of um, long exposures. Um, we'll be doing, uh, we'll be doing, everything will be short, lucky imaging type stuff until maybe I buy um, a engineered equatorial platform for the 24 and then we might chase some other stuff. But I'm pretty happy with what we've been banging out with just the um, lucky imaging stuff. Um, so that's the spacing, correct spacing, 55 mil back focus. So I'm ready to go. And by the time you guys see this, more or less, I'm pretty sure that um, uh, I've already been using it for a little while, so we'll see what we can dig out. I don't have any two inch um, filters, and again, because I want to try and lucky image, I've just got a um, IR uh, UV cut filter, and I just want as much light as I can, so that'll help with the frame weight and, the, and keep the gain down. So, I also bought the power supply with it. Um, I will be looking, that plug for me is upside down, that's the orientation of it, but I just bought this just to make sure I had an AC um, controller, sorry, upside down when in regards to my um, Blue Eddy power supply for when I go away, but um, uh, when it, if I was using a power board, no problem at all. But because they're so much more efficient using the DC power on that, I will be looking to do um, get a DC plug for this 5 amp, 12 volt, and um, run it on that. The if you have not seen um, the other the other um, video I did, the 24 pulls 4 amps in in 12 volt when tracking, and it pulls about 10 in AC because of the power brick it's uh, just much more inefficient so two inch UVIR cut I'll speed this up what do we got nothing that should just come straight out
strap, cable strap, cable, lots of high speed data, puffer, got the cable, cable, Twenty and seventeen and a half. Wow. Very good. That's exactly um, what we need. And I drove around Newcastle last night. Drove down to a friend's place. He probably he won't watch this, but he lent me this sixteen and a half to get me over the line because this turned up amazing shipping. This turned up well before the um, the set of M forty eights. Did that I need so these are the other spare ones I had with my Seabit Optics Barlow for um, spacing to get the correct spacing for what I'm after at the time but um, included these perfect very good Feels good in hand. Build quality feels really good, really sturdy. Well, oh, they all make great stuff these days. All right, well, let's 12 volt 3 amp for the DC. I thought it was 5 amp on the website. I might stick something up on the page and we'll have a look. Anyway, looking forward to using this. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.
and away we go.